A up again. So uh, what do we have here? A nice trinket, a bit bigger this time, as if six inches wasn't big enough. This is the Nexus 9, which is actually made by HTC. And uh, HTC haven't made a tablet since I think it was a HTC Jetstream or HTC Flyer. They may be the same tablets, but I, know, I do remember those tablets for being quite nice tablets, if a bit slow and underpowered. Uh, but uh, this one certainly looks like uh, it's got quite a lot of power under the hood and it certainly carries across a nice premium design aesthetic that you'd expect from HTC so uh, what do we have obviously we've got uh, quite a selection of colors here uh, white black and uh, is that a cream color yeah, it looks like uh, it's like a brown colour, uh, but it's got quite a nice uh, minimalistic design to it. Uh, I do like the way that they've put the camera kind of in the corner and out of the way, and uh, looks like it's it's described quite well as well. Built with a thin bezel, brushed metal sides, clean lines, and unique colours. Uh, so uh, I think if I was going to choose a colour I'd probably get the uh, black one mainly because it will probably look better after you know a couple of months or whatever but they all look quite nice colours I'm glad that they haven't gone too crazy with them because I think they're positioning this as uh, kind of like a more of a business type of tablet for movers and makers so uh, what have we got so it's 8.9 inches I don't think it's t telling you about the screen technology yet or the PPI but it does have those nice HTC boom sound speakers which is nice uh, as we know they're like, very powerful from the HTC One series powerful processor this is the Tegra K1 64-bit process uh, from NVIDIA so uh, we haven't seen a NVIDIA processor since the Nexus 7 the first gen uh, which uh, didn't have the best battery life but was quite a solid performer uh, you get a keyboard with it as well I transform it into like a surface type of thing surface 3 looks very surface that does and it's mag magnetically attached hope it's not too expensive because it certainly will make uh, you know the business credentials of it higher and uh, get uh, Android Lollipop uh, which as I mentioned uh, looks very nice with its uh, new multitasking uh, notification area as well as uh, the nice material design so uh, what we got in terms of specs 8.9 IPS LCD would have liked it have been AMOLED but you know can't have it all I guess LCD is still quite nice battery 6700 obviously that's an improvement over Nexus 7 battery which is about 4000 although again it is a bigger screen I hope it can manage uh, a NVIDIA processor uh, you've got a uh, 16 gig or 32 gig model looks like no micro SD again again Google you know they just don't like micro SDs do they uh, you get 8 megapixel rear camera 1.6 megapixel front camera so uh, I hope photography is improved from most oh we've got more specs here uh, so what we got 9 5 hours on the battery that, that sounds quite decent double tap to wake QXGA quite high resolution 2 gigs of RAM uh, latest wireless that's nice 
f2.4 focus does it come with a flash uh, it looks like it does yes it does come with a flash which is nice not that I'm a big uh, fan of taking pictures on tablets but hey ho as long as it's improved all your sensors are there which is nice so uh, yeah it looks like uh, quite a nice productivity device here hopefully something that can probably replace your laptop and uh, a solid competitor to the Surface 3 what do you think leave a comment or you know like the video or subscribe and uh, I hope to pick one of these up eventually uh, but obviously it will depend how much it will cost uh, I think the Nexus 6 is going to set us back about 500 600 quid so I think the the value kind of thing is probably gone now uh, these are very high-end devices I think to compete with Apple and Microsoft so uh, I'll be looking forward to grab one though when they do uh, come out uh, but uh, yeah uh, overall I'm quite impressed well done Google cheers